Yo, Buzzy back here. Today, let's learn how to change the material of a part using a GUI. So inside of my workspace, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in a part. And this is the part that I want to manipulate using a GUI. So in starter GUI, let's go ahead and add a screen GUI and then a frame inside of that. Now inside of this frame, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few text buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and add probably four text buttons and each button will change the material of my part in the workspace uh, to whatever I set it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and customize my text buttons to however uh, I want it to. Feel free to change it to whatever you guys would like. I'm gonna have four text buttons for the neon, wood, plastic, and mud parts, the mud material. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Once that's done, let's go ahead and add a local script inside of our screen GUI. One more thing, let's go ahead and rename our text buttons. So I'll rename all my text buttons to neon, mud, plastic, and wood. This is so that it's easier to reference inside of my local script uh, in just a second. We have two variables which references the frame as well as the part itself inside of our workspace. So we're gonna have four functions total and each function is going to represent the material of the part that we want to change it into uh, and the text buttons that correspond to that material. So for our neon text button, anytime a player clicks on this text button, then the material of our part will be equal to the neon material. And the same thing for our mud, wood, and plastic functions. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out our script. You'll see that if I click on mud, my part changes to mud, plastic, and so on and so forth. Full scripts and models will be posted on our website, link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. As always, have fun creating and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.